Sometimes I feel like I'm the God. Do you know why? Because a God has many names. So do I. Fellow Toastmasters and guests. Few people call me Sai. Few people call me Sudan. And the others call whatever they understand when I, when I tell them my name. So I started wondering why do I have so many names. My analysis started this way. I was born on 16th October of 1994. When I was born, my parents called me Sonu. And my neighbors, they called me Pandu. I was not aware of what my actual name was, so I was okay with whatever they called me. Because I was, get, I was getting a lot of kisses by girls, but only on cheeks. <laughs> Few years down the line, I started my schooling. When I was in the second class, my friends used to call me Sonu, and even the school records had my name as Sonu. So officially, I am Sonu. I was Sonu. One year later, when I was in the third standard, my parents, all of a sudden, they decided that they changed my name. For just for a change. <laughs> they changed my name from Sonu to Sai Sudan. Now my official name was Sai Sudan from that time. But my friends took a long time, like one, one or two years more, to shift from Sonu to Sai Sudan. Few few year, few more years have passed and I was in the ninth standard. <laughs> That day, uh, there was a day where uh, the former president of US, George Bush, was visiting India. So I was a person who bragged in the school that, hey, president is coming, hey, Bush is coming, hey, Bush is coming. <laughs> that, that is how I got the name Bush. <laughs> Even my girlfriends from school, I mean, the friends who are girls <laughs> from school, call me Bush even today. After all these years, they still call me Bush. Around the same time, I was not so humorous that, that, uh, at that age, but I tried to find humor in whatever I see. The whole class was silent, big drop silence. I cracked a joke. I don't remember what, what that was, but I cracked a joke. Everyone laughed. After 10 seconds of laughing, everyone was silent. The teacher was looking straight at me and said, don't be a joker. Yes, Joker. That that's another name I got because because of my funny funny skills, humorous skills. I don't have them now, but I had it till, till that time. Few more years. Uh, I was in my engineering first year of my engineering. I did one of the most terrible mistakes that any teenager could do. I fell in love with the beautiful girl of my class. But this time. I didn't get any name. I was dumb enough to fall in love, but I got to know that she was even dumber than me because she fell in love with me. That is the dumbest thing a girl can ever do. Fortunately, this time I didn't get any name, but instead she got a name. She was white, I was dark. She was short, I was tall. She was rich, I was poor. So. My friends started calling her blind girl. Whenever she walked into the class, she said, everyone started saying, hey, here comes the blind girl, here comes the blind girl. That's how my engineering has passed. One more year after the engineering, I landed in Tech Manila. And that's when, that, that was the time when I started grow, grow, growing white and brown hair. <laughs> you can see it now. So my, my batchmates who became my close friends, they started calling me grandfather <laughs> because grandfathers were, were generally the people who have white and uh, brown hair. So I got the name grandfather there. Few more days later, I joined Toastmasters. In the in the very same hall, I was sitting there. Our president Vishwanath was sitting there. I raised my hand to answer a question in the listener round. He saw he saw me raising hand. No no one else no, knew my name. He said, Lucky's brother, Lucky's brother, write his name, write his name, Lucky's brother. <laughs> I was like, Lucky's brother? Seriously? Bro, that's my brother, not me. I too have a name. I too have an identity. 
I got to know one thing at that time about human psychology. People don't really call you by your name, but sometimes people don't call you by your name, but they'll call you by the impression you have on them. I was called a psycho because I told my friends that I want to become a scientist. <laughs> I was called Bush because I was bragging in the school about George Bush. I was called Lucky's brother because that's how he knew me. Right? Agree? So that's when I got to know that even, even if people do not call you by name, by your name, it's okay because it doesn't change who you are as a person. This reminds me of what uh, Shakespeare once said, and I quote, what's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word will smell as sweet. Which means, even if we call a rose flower by some other name, even if we call it a jasmine flower, it smells with the same sweetness. Its sweetness doesn't drop. Whatever people call me, I am who I am. Or this